Welcome back to Feed My Starving Americans. Today we are going to talk about further improvements to the difference meal and how to get this thing tasting fire on a budget. We figured it out. It's pretty lean. That's the main issue. You got rice, soy, veggies, and chicken, and the ingredients are super, super healthy, but it's really low fat. So it, that's really the deficit. We noticed that it tastes really good if you add cheese or sour cream or, this is my favorite, one Chick-fil-A sauce packet per bowl. Oh God. Also, notable mention, ranch, because we are in the Midwest here. And any one of those, all of a sudden elevates this to being quite a bit better. So how do we add a fat to this meal without making it really um, dense and harder to package and harder to have dry food? If you have suggestions on good fats that you can get locally, let me know. But I kind of think that most families have access to um, like whether it's a, a fast food style packet like this or you know one of these chick-fil-a sauces that like this or ranch whatever the case is most families have access to uh, local kind of calories in the form of a sauce that can be added to uh, the difference meal so kind of what the person's flavor preferences is really up to them but i just noticed it tastes really good if you can get your hands on some type of calories in the form of a fat. Another like idea would be like butter or oil, but in general fats are really hard to dry. So you can get some plant-based powder form fats, but I just kind of I kind of feel like this is one of those things that just might need to be added as sort of like the final stage, final step when somebody's making this because it's kind of up to the person's preference to kids are going to like the ranch and the cheese. Uh, and adults are probably going to like the Chick-fil-A sauce and the sour cream. So maybe it's just kind of what it's got to be. I don't know. Maybe we'll add that as a recommended step. Anyway, peace out.